the center of our existence is a powerful dynamo. All around our world, running down the middle of the oceans like seams on a baseball, are these cracks, these spreading centers, where the crust of the planet is literally ripping apart. Up above, the sea looks normal. Say goodbye to the surface world. I love this part. Everything is a go. We are ready to vent. Venting now. Rover one, rover one, this is rover two. Do you oh my it? goodness, look oh. at that. That is absolutely unreal. See if you can get your lights right on them. Roger that. How can something like that be alive? How does a creature like this work? See the reticulation inside this thing? Look at that. That is amazing. Oh, he's got feet. Look, he's got feet. He's got like little toe socks. The thing about deep diving is you always need to expect the unexpected. Oh my God, look at that squid. Oh, it's massive. Look, 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 quick, quick. What a beautiful animal. What a beautiful animal. Look at that. It's like a dancer. What an amazing creature. When the seawater seeps down to the molten rock just beneath the new crust, it gets superheated, far hotter than boiling. But it can't boil because of the intense pressure at the bottom of the ocean. So it comes roaring up out of the seafloor. When the superheated water hits the freezing ocean, minerals condense out, forming the chimneys and creating the black smoke. tree stump, that is just incredible. Okay, it looks like most of the fluid is coming out here and here. Can we go in right there? We're in some kind of convective flow here. Kelvish, Kelvish, Harry's Bridge. Yeah, Dave, we're about to get a dive brief right here. We've got uh, Mir 1 going to water at... Uh, yeah, watch these down, guys. When you think about the search for life elsewhere, Wherever we found liquid water on planet Earth, we found life. That's pretty profound. If we find liquid water elsewhere in the solar system, are we gonna find life? We won't know unless we start searching.
In fact, NASA is planning a mission called the Jupiter Icy Moons Orbiter, aka JIMO. At 120 feet long, it's going to be several times larger than any planetary probe ever launched. And its nuclear reactor will power ion engines and a big science radar. The main goal of JIMO will be to use that radar to look down through the ice of Jupiter's three largest moons. First, it will study Callisto, and then it will move to Ganymede. And these are bizarre moons, the largest of Jupiter's 61 known moons. Callisto and Ganymede both have crusts of ancient ice and rock that may hide oceans miles below the surface. But the gem of the Jovian system, at least as far as the search for life is concerned, is Europa. The scientific community is relatively certain that beneath the icy, chaotic shell of Europa, there exists a liquid water ocean. When we send a spacecraft to Europa, we're going to have to understand what are the chemical and molecular biosignatures that are left behind. Are we seeing that same kind of signature on the surface of Europa? If we do, what does that imply for the habitability of the ocean below? A mission to explore under the ice of Europa would be the ultimate robotic challenge. During the landing, the team in mission control would pretty much be along for the ride. Europa is so far away that even at the speed of light, it would take more than an hour for the command just to reach the vehicle. It's really on its own. It has to be smart enough to avoid terrain hazards and to find a good landing site on the ice. Now we have to get through the ice. You need a melt probe. It's basically a nuclear heated torpedo. The ice could be anywhere from three to 16 miles deep. Week after week, the melt probe will sink of its own weight through the ancient ice until finally, now, what are you going to do when you reach the surface of that ocean? You need an AUV, an autonomous underwater vehicle. It needs to be one smart puppy, able to navigate and make decisions on its own in an alien ocean. Europa has internal heat. It may well have hydrothermal venting. If it does, and if the chemistry is right, it will have an enormous impact on humanity if we find life in an ocean on another world.